Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I have not done one of these videos in a very, very long time. I'm um, going full nerd mode today, I think. I have my monitor on for way too long. My eyes are like hurting like crazy. They're about to fall out of their socket. So I do have my gunners on uh, for this video, but I... I want to make a review video. I haven't made a review video in very, very long, and I want to make a review video on. I want to pick a monster that is actually somewhat useful, something that people can actually use in the game uh, that I think is a is a good monster and and you know somewhat ob obtainable monster. So I want to start w today with the Mona. I think the Mona is a like the Monas. There's only the three normal elements. Um, but two out of the three elements are all very very excellent monsters So we're gonna start with the fire one the fire one in my opinion is probably the weakest Mona um, Mainly because of her passive skills her passive skills aren't all that useful like recovery down and fatigue are both skills that are Very situational. They're not they're definitely not skills that you can always use like you know skills that you can always use are like You know defense down attack down, you know those will affect all bosses all monsters in the arena all of everything, but skills like recovery down and fatigue um, aren't that widely used. And reco recovery down only works against monsters that actually have heals. Uh, fatigue only works. Actually, fatigue works on all monsters. But the problem with fatigue is like it's it basically only reduces their blue recovery. But like instead of doing something else, like there could be better forms of uh, CC than this. Um, I think, like in my in my opinion, there's there's other stuff that can really stop like you know AOE skills from hitting hard. Like there, there's active skills from from hitting hard by like by um, either CCing them or you know putting attack down on them, making it hit for less, or um, you know silencing them. Like silence, in my opinion, is not that useful either because you know why silence when you can just stun them, but. There's like you know fatigue isn't even as good as silence. That's just, that's my main point of this. But she does have one really good variant skill, which is the the uh, extra attack damage for all fire astromons. So if you're running like a mono fire team, um, this is definitely going to be very very good for your nukers. So not so much like the fire one isn't that um, that useful, but the water and wood one with this leader skill is definitely a lot stronger. So. The water one, in my opinion, is probably my favorite. I'm probably gonna raise this monster soon. Like, um, I do have I do have one ready at Evil Three, like as a variant, you know, all ready to go. Um, and I actually farm her off the Mona map. So these monsters are, are also farmable as well on Pagos Coast if you wanna if you wanna farm them. They're very easy to get. So the water one has a morale boost of 20%. Um, basically, every single time that she attacks, she regains SP by 20%, which is really really good. She also has defense down. Like de death break is very very nice. Like, death break affects everyone, like bosses, monsters in the arena. Um, you know when you're running through the level, just death break affects everyone, and especially with how they changed death break recently with the recent patch. Um, defense down is is one of the one of the stronger debuffs. I th I think one of the strongest debuffs in my opinion. Um, because of its utility and how it's how it's usable against everyone, you know. So she also has the water leader skill, which gives her 30 to 35 uh, percent extra attack for all water monsters. So if you're running like a mono water team, this is going to be very very good. And the good thing about this is it'll make monsters that like you know if you don't build attack on those monsters, it'll still make them hit harder because. All monsters have attack, all monsters do auto attacks, so um, just by having this, if you have a full water team, will just significantly increase your overall damage and overall clear time, um, you know, of any team, any any water team. So we're moving on to the wood one. The wood one is... The wood one, the wood one's really nice. I think this is probably everybody's favorite Mona. Like everybody, probably 90% of the people would, would recommend the wood Mona because of how strong she is early on. I'm using her on my free to play account. I actually have one that that's being raised right now. Um, I she has adrenaline, which is really nice. She restores 20% of her own max HP when attacking. So she has like a thousand HP. She restores 200. You know, she has like a million. She restores uh. 200,000, alright, uh, that, no monster has a million, um, but if she has like, you know, 10,000, then she restores like 2,000, which is pretty good, I think, um, which will, it'll help, it'll definitely help keep her, um, keep her alive, if you have really, really high HP. She also has taunt, 
Um, 80% chance to taunt, so this is like a really, really good CC because it forces everything to attack her, but she has this self sustain that uh, allows her to always heal back whenever she has when she does an attack. So that's really, really nice. She also has the fighting spirit skill for all wood monsters. So if you're running like a full wood team, you can run her leader. I definitely recommend using her for like B7. You can just put her as a leader and then run like a full wood team. And the other monsters can be like support monsters with random debuffs and stuff. And you know, if you as long as you have them like you know, tanky enough to survive, um, her leader skill will provide the damage you need to to make the make the run faster. Um, I think the these mono like leader skills are actually pretty good in this game um, because a lot of the dungeons or a lot of the d dungeon teams that you're raising probably are like a single element, you know, like light monsters, dark monsters, and, or, or water monsters, and you want to kind of take advantage of that and use the element that they're weak against. Um, f so for B7, you like run wood. And then with this leader skill, if you're running a full wood team, it'll just significantly increase your overall DPS of your entire team. Um, and even if you're running, like if you, if you built a full wood team for B7, you can take that wood team and you can use it for like other dungeons that are like light and dark. You know, like if you're running like light day or dark day, you can use that exact same team for for those dungeons, and your leader skill will still work. You know, so. Yeah, I think I think the monos are, are definitely really really good monsters. Um, so I want to just wanted to make some review videos again because I haven't done them in a long time, and I I want to cover I want to try to move on to more uh, usable monsters like pe monsters that people actually use, and and talk a little bit more about them. So like when new players see these videos, they can they can try these monsters out and um, you know yeah just just see how they do. So either way, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.